Well, well, well. Welcome back to Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, third week in October 15th. Kind of the midway point through the month. Hope you're all having a good month. We had a good start to the month this, this month, so we're keeping that in mind going forward. Today's charts look pretty average, I have to say. Um, everything's kind of mid-range and not really sure where it wants to go. Let's talk gold, first of all. This has been um, the simplest chart and the, the least disruptive. We had our big breakout bar here. Uh, the low since then has been 20. New high yesterday. You could, you could argue kind of another important new high up to 36. This is on the GC Futures deck contract. Um, now it looks like we're going to get consolidation. Let's call 20, 1240 the high, 1220 going to be the low. Uh, and you want to just trade the long side. Uh, might even sink below 1220. The problem with all of this, your stop has to be below 1208. So keep this in mind. Keep your positioning correct. But trading gold from the long side still makes sense for us. Dollar CAD dropped yesterday. I didn't see the news. There's obviously some news on this bar. Um, we'll have to take a look at that. Maybe someone from the BOC said something. But it's interesting. Um, dollar CAD looks like, after stubbornly hanging on the 130 handle, um, that it may have turned here. So I'll have to do a bit of more research on this and find out what the news was uh, in dollar CAD. But dollar CAD looks like it's turned. New Zealand also news last night. Again, I was out of the office. Uh, must have been inflation or GDP or something. Um, Kiwi looks strong. No dog in either of these fights, just pointing out the charts for you guys. One of the things we're interested in, as always, is Dollar Czar. Uh, as our esteemed colleague in France pointed out, the market's going to be looking at this big head and shoulders pattern. Um, the budget now is seven days away, I believe, 23rd. I'm betting they're going to screw that budget up. But this pattern is not to be ignored, so a little bit tricky here. Um, we have seven days before the budget. You don't want to buy the dip too early. So ideally this breaks somehow in the next six days, and then the market's short going into the budget. Um, and then we can try some longs from there. Uh, this is a very, very important pattern. It's, it's a very obvious one, so a lot of people are going to be looking at it. It's quite long term, um, so it'll be very meaningful for medium and long term CTAs. It doesn't fit with my story of what's going on in South Africa, which is that, you know, land appropriation and recession and lack of leadership uh, usually spells weaker currency. But below 14.05 and let's say a daily close below 14 the figure would mean uh, a real important technical break. There's nothing to do here at 14.35.50 but you want to start your planning now and you want to start getting ready for these big events. It just makes it easier to make money. The more planning you do the easier it is. Quickly to Euro we didn't make a new low yesterday, which is quite interesting considering all of the bad news uh, about Merkel, uh, Merkel's party suffering defeats in, in Munich and the Italian budget drama that's going on. Now there's going to be stops above 
this high. Uh, 116.10. We got to 06 yesterday. This is a break trade. Entries at 11 or 12. Uh, and it looks like if it does break up there, there's no reason we can't get up to uh, 117.27. So, again, not really sure the story on this. Uh, it could just be that the market short euros and they get caught. This is a very important level, 116.10. Now let's call 116.12 because you really want it through. You don't want to nibble at this kind of level. You want it. All, you want it fully through. This is important, so keep in mind on this. We will be getting long if we if we make highs through through 116.10. For now, we are square. And then Euro Yen, we printed the low yesterday through 20. We were short before the open. We sold through 20. We scratched that trade. Totally didn't work. Everyone was short. Uh, now we're just in the middle of nowhere. Doji yesterday. We've made a marginal new high today. There will be stops below this low now, 129.12. So if there is some bad news, there will be acceleration down there, but you're heading into the figure. So for now, we're just going to walk away from your yen and watch for a bit. And let's go to stocks. Uh, we had a high last night, uh, yesterday, of a 78. I thought it went to 80. But it closed nicely uh, for the shorts out there at 47. We're square at the moment. Um, we're cautiously looking at this top side for the correct moment to sell. But we closed firmly below this 200-day moving average. So this is kind of the second time in the last three days we've closed below this. This adds more strength to the bear story. Uh, we still think there's a possibility of some sort of like short squeeze, extended short squeeze to get sort of what we call uh, you know weak shorts. And that's no disrespect. It's just day traders uh, and short-term traders like us who are short and are not going to be able to hold this short to 28.66. And nor should they hold it because uh, the way we trade with tight stops, uh, if you hold this kind of position to up here, your risk reward gets just totally destroyed. So we're kind of looking at that. A little bit unclear on how we're going to get short and where we're going to get short from here. Um, we'll see. And also to our 30 year, as we've been talking about, we're trying to sell high ones on the 30. Uh, we did not get paid yesterday, but we're just patiently waiting. Uh, and to sum up this video, we're just being patient here. You know, yesterday was was a scratch. There's no beautiful trade setups here. Uh, today and so when there's nothing beautiful you just wait you're not forced you're never forced to trade right you're, you 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 have to wait uh, for what we call five star setups let's take a quick look at the calendar today W out of Germany and not much else. Some F some FOMC members speaking late in the day. Well, quiet day. Kunlif speaks from the MPC. I guess things get a bit a uh, bit more jumpy tomorrow with the FOMC minutes, Aussie employment. So, I can see uh, the Kiwi move was on CPI. It must have been hot. Yeah, 0 0.9. Anyway, lack of numbers today. Uh, keep your eyes on the news. F keep following this Italian uh, saga in front of the EU as they're presenting their budget. And be patient out there, people. Talk to you soon.